What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary James, and we're back right here, baby. Back on NCAA football, 14 college football revamp. Yes, sir. With our Mississippi State Bulldogs, and we are getting into a nice little season recap today. Just showing y'all some of the stats, how we finish uh, ranked in the season, who we're gonna be taking on in the college football playoff, which I will spoil. We did make it. But uh, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and show that a few more of the recruits right here. We do get signed AJ Forte, five star QB and John Newby, five star running back. We do get signed with a few depth guys as well. I'll show off the recruits right here a little more uh, slowly right here. But with our latest uh, upgrades to our coach, we kind of again very highly maxed out and we've signed a lot of good players already. And it's kind of, we're just maxing everybody out at 700 at this point. And it's just, uh, whew, we have a great recruiting class at the moment, man. I'm really excited to see what these guys could do. That's what uh, I was planning on, maybe even winding the series down a little bit. But man, just with this recruiting class, I want to at least get one season out of them. So hopefully we get this series to at least four or five years in. And uh, we'll end it there. Hopefully, if you guys enjoy the series, man, keep spamming up the like buttons. It is greatly appreciated. But, uh, yeah, man, like, look at this recruiting class we got, man. 65 and hires. Obviously, they're all not going to play right away, but a lot of good low 70 overall players and some solid, solid mid 70s as well. We lock up a couple more guys right there. Mark Richardson was one of the big guards we were targeting, one of our top recruits right there. So, good to see him commit before the offseason. And, uh, yeah, man. Our recruiting class is looking amazing. I'm, I'm going to have to make sure we look at that uh, once we get to the offseason episode of uh, what rank we are. Because I feel like we're top 10 at least. So Right here, looking at the BCS uh, rankings, where they have us at number 3 at the moment before heading into conference championship weekend. And then, what do you know? Jaquavius Marks does win the Heisman right here. He gets the most votes with a nice what, little 200-point uh, cushion right there over Western Michigan running back Jefferson right there. So... Nice win right there, man. Again, 1,600 yards, 19 touchdowns, 40 rece 39 receptions, two touchdowns off of that. So cool to see a Heisman right there. Crumdy winning the Lombardi, doing his thing. Emerson winning, winning the Jim Thorpe Award. But I don't see the Bolitnikoff going to Jaden Wally. I think we got absolutely snubbed there. We're going to have to take a look at that. But right here, looking into the final uh, rankings before we head into uh, the college football playoff, I believe, right? Yes, Florida beats Alabama in the SEC championship game, so they're going to jump up to one. Alabama dropping all the way down to four, which surprised me. I thought they'd drop down to three, if anything, but uh, no, they're dropping all the way down to four, and that means there's going to be a rematch right here as we do have the college football playoff equipped for this season. Uh, I got the utility tool figured out, so I already got one game done, so don't want to spoil nothing there. But, uh, yeah, looking great, man, looking great. So they're going to get a rematch, and we're going to be taking on Oklahoma again, who we took on in the national championship last year. Jaden Wally, 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns, man, 60 catches on the year, and he does not win the Bolitnikoff. That's disrespectful, no cap. They just hating on us. That's crazy. He had more receptions than anyone else. Jaquavius Marks came in second with a lot of his screens and stuff. But look, the other guys didn't really do nothing too crazy. Makai and Ledetrick Griffin both over 300. Ledetrick of four touchdowns, which was nice, but nothing too crazy out of everyone else. I was literally Jaden Wally carrying the load with uh, Jaquavius Marks doing his thing. And then right here, Johnson was really the only one who struggled from the line. Everyone else did pretty solid in my opinion, so not too bad. O-line wise, defensively, we got a bunch of the nation leading tackle tacklers out here. So we did our thing on defense, man. Jaden Crumdy, 30 tackles for loss. Jesus, 49 solo tackles, nine sacks on the season, and Demonte Russell with eight on the other side. And then inside you got Pickering with five. Like excellent season from the defense. Did their thing. Uh really the only one bad loss was to Alabama. That was it. Other than that, we did our thing. Uh forced fumbles would like to see a little bit more, but you know, is what it is there. Brandon Ruiz, the only kicks he missed, I believe, were off a long distance. Other than that, he was perfect. Punting, hopefully Clark could get a good progression to his power. So that's one thing that we're hoping on right there. Uh, coming over here, looking at the nation leaders right here, Jaquavius, only sixth in the nation in rushing, and he still ended up uh, winning the Heisman. Stovall ends up beating Wally with over 200 yards, but I think with our team's success, he should definitely, and the competition we had to face, I think he should have got the Belitnikov, but is what it is uh, defensively we have four guys in the top five in tackles which that's crazy to see but is what it is jane crumbity finishes 11th in the nation in sacks martin emerson top 25 in interceptions 
kicking wise, Ruiz fourth, and that's about it right there for uh, the nation leaders right there. So, like I said, I did the college football revamp uh, tool right here. So we are going to be taking on Oklahoma here in the first game of the uh, college football playoff right here. So that's going to be a good one to see right here. So you can see right there that is going to be our matchup. And I'm going to go down and show you guys the results of the first game that got played right there alabama florida 26 21 another close one alabama pulls it off though so we're really playing this to see who could take on alabama byu and western kentucky uh placeholders for the moment eventually they will get swapped out it's like they never played a bowl game which you guys will see in a in the future but uh yeah man this is gonna be the matchup right here we're taking on oklahoma yet again both of us 11 and 1 they went 8 and 1 in conference play we went 7 and 1 and this team's great, man. This is a very, very good team. Spencer Rattler, 27 touchdowns, four picks. Brooks, over 1,000 yards. And then uh, Mims going for almost 1,500 yards, almost 100 receptions, which Jaden Wally did only get 60. But 14 touchdowns as well for Mims. And competition-wise, their only loss was to Texas. And other than that, it was all blowouts, man. So we got a nice little rematch right here from last year's uh, national championship. So... If you enjoyed the video, man, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button for more. Next episode will be the first round of the college football playoff, man. I'll see y'all then. Peace.